Welcome to our review on acceleration and velocity. So first thing we actually need to do here then is understand what we mean by the term acceleration. Now basically when we've got an object and its speed is changing then we have an acceleration. Now the thing to bear in mind is it doesn't have to be speeding up it can be slowing down for it to be this acceleration because acceleration can be either positive or negative okay so do go careful that when talking about acceleration we're not just talking about things that are increasing in speed they can also be decreasing in speed and therefore demonstrating what's known as negative acceleration or what we refer to more frequently as deceleration the equation we actually need then to calculate our acceleration is again found on page two of your exam booklets but so we understand it we'll go through it now acceleration which has the units of meters per second squared equals the change in speed divided by the time taken for the change now first thing to notice there is it is the change in speed okay so don't just look at the final speed it's the difference between the speed the object starts at and the speed it finishes at okay so to give you an example of the kind of question you might get there the speed of a train increases from 15 meters per second to 35 meters per second in 10 seconds what is the acceleration of the train so all we need to do there is first of all work out our change in speed so that's going to be 35 minus 15 which gives us 20 meters per second and then we divide that by our time which is 10 seconds so 20 divided by 10 gives us the acceleration of 2 meters per second squared now we've got a second term associated here which is velocity so what we need to do now is understand the difference between an object's speed and an object's velocity if we're talking about the speed quite simply what that tells us is how fast it's going okay that's it just how fast it's going if we're talking about the velocity of an object then it tells us how fast it's going and in what direction so as opposed to just a speed of 50 miles per hour then the velocity would be 50 miles per hour north okay now what we've got on that little diagram of our two cars then is something that shows us the velocities of two different vehicles so we've got our red car traveling in one direction and our blue car traveling in the opposite direction now they're both traveling at 40 miles per hour but when we're then going to convert this into a velocity we can say that the red car has a velocity of plus 40 miles per hour and because our blue car is traveling in exactly the opposite direction then we can say that the blue car has a velocity of minus 40 miles per hour now what we actually find is when we're talking about a change to the velocity of an object we're actually talking about an acceleration so what we need to be very aware of is when we are talking about a change in velocity that can also mean a change in direction okay so what that means to us is even if our speed is staying the same so it's moving at a constant speed of say 30 miles per hour if that car then turns a corner at that 30 miles an hour it has still accelerated okay so because the direction has changed then it has accelerated even if the speed has remained constant the last thing we need to understand then is something called the relative velocity now this is something you may well have noticed in your everyday life when you've been sitting in a car on the motorway anything that's overtaking you going the same direction seems to do so really quite slowly whereas anything going in the opposite direction to you seems to whiz past really fast so this is all down to this thing called relative velocity in the picture at the top there what we can see is we've got a train and two cars so our train is traveling at plus 80 miles per hour okay so it's got a velocity of plus 80 and the black car there is traveling in the same direction as the train with a velocity of plus 70 miles per hour the yellow car which is traveling in the opposite direction to both has a velocity then of minus 70 miles per hour so if you imagine you're sitting in that black car and looking out at the train it's going to look like it's only moving past you at 10 miles per hour and the way that we work that out is we start off with the velocity of our train which is plus 80 and we subtract the velocity of our car that we're traveling in okay so that would be 80 minus 70 gives us the relative velocity then of 10 miles per hour 
if we were sitting in the yellow car, looking at that same train, what we'd actually see is that the train seems to be going past really fast. So by doing that same calculation, so 80 is our train, and then we've got to still subtract the velocity of our car. So we're actually going to be taking away minus 70. Now two minuses makes a plus. So in reality, the calculation we do is 80 plus 70, which gives us our relative velocity there of 150.